my dear friends we are one week away from the holy week during which week we will remember the passion death and the resurrection of our lord jesus christ the redeemer in a deeper way jesus came into this world to give life he is the source of eternal life to achieve it to receive that eternal life he showed us a way to follow in today's second reading it says those who are in the flesh cannot please god you however are not in the flesh but in the spirit if in fact the spirit of god dwells in you anyone who does not have the spirit of christ does not belong to him but if christ is in you although the body is dead because of sin the spirit is life because of righteousness the righteousness the righteous life is the most important thing the people who are in flesh they always seek to satisfy themselves they have their own selfish ambitions the people who are selfish will never bring happiness or joy to wherever they are instead they will bring misery and suffering and hurt but the people who have been inspired by the holy spirit will always bring joy happiness to all those people who associate at the beginning of lent we began a journey a spiritual journey a battle against evil and darkness so it is high time for us to reflect and see whether we were we able to keep up our resolutions alive during this season of lent whatever the penance or whatever the resolutions you made and what effort you made to keep them up keep them alive the other day a young boy came to see me and he sat in front of me in the office and he was crying so i i allowed him to cry as much as he wanted so i waited and waited and waited so ultimately he told me father i am fed up with my life i just want to give up my life so then he shared his story with me so after he has completed his story i asked from him do you have a friend so again he started to cry then he told me it was my best friend who betrayed me who broke on the trust i had in him 
Then I ask, do you have an intimate friend with whom you can share whatever? He said, no. He just told me that I thought that he was my best friend, but he was not. He told me that, that my, the one I thought was my best friend was a selfish person. He just thought of himself rather than supporting me. So those are the qualities of a selfish person. He always think about himself. And those people who associate that type of people will always end up in troubles and sufferings, pains and hurt. But whereas when you associate with the people who have been inspired by the Holy Spirit, they are different. Those people always try to make others happy. Those people always try to share what they have. And we, we have, even among ourselves, there are wonderful people. When you talk with them, your life gets inspired. And you, you really feel happy inside. And when you associate that type of people, you learn so much. And those people always challenge your life. Even I have met some lay people who have challenged my priesthood. They are so nice and wonderful, genuine and honest. So I have always reflect over them. And I have learned from them. By associating those people, I have learned so much to my life as a priest. So those are the people Jesus want. He came into this world to give life, a life in abundance. And the people who want to achieve that should be the people who live in the spirit. So we all are collaborators of that life. So we have began that journey and we are in different places in that journey. So it is up to each person. Each person has to reflect and see where am I in that journey. So the East is Exodus crossing over. So that's why earlier I asked you to reflect and see whether you have been able to keep up your resolutions of Lent alive. Because it is not easy. We are living in a rat race society uh, full of technology, modern, glamorous things all around, and so many temptations around. Very challenging. So, Jesus is demanding from us to choose what is good from these glamorous things. If we are inspired by the Holy Spirit only, that we connect with Jesus. Those who live in flesh, they always prefer to disconnect from God and connect with devices and technologies, mobile phones and whatnot. In certain people's life, they have given the prominence 
to those things rather than God. So as we are reaching closer to the Holy Week, let us reflect and see whether we are ready to cross over like the people of Israel who crossed over the Red Sea and walk in the desert into the promised land. So we are people who are trying to cross over the desert of sin and we are journeying towards the promised land of Easter. And it is our duty to reflect and to be and to be a part of the passion of Christ. He died for us. He died for our sins. And we all have to think and see whether am I giving myself to the flesh or do I want to allow the Holy Spirit to inspire me and to radiate my sinful life.